Hey, War of the Vision fans, this is your Global Original Nash Taters, bringing you back another episode of War of the Visions. Today, I'm not going to be doing any Friday Free Thinking episodes because honestly, I can't think of a topic. But I am going to be streaming tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So come join me and have some fun with me. Now, today I'm going to be doing a video which will highlight how I have auto level 100 of the Diablos Raid. Now, this is actually a big milestone for me because I have never actually fully autoed a level 100 raid using a automatic team without using any additional orbs. However, there is a small chance of error because essentially sometimes the RNG doesn't play in my favor. However, I can manually 100% using my team. So in this video, I'm going to show you both how I auto it and how I manual it. And also I'm going to go over my key strategies and of course all the equipments and vision cards that I'm using. So let's go ahead and get this video started. So as you can see, this is my team I'm using. I have pretty much a mishmash of slash attack units. Now obviously, I believe if you use Auron and Ice units, you get the best results. So here we are, this is essentially what we're doing. And right now, essentially, I'm not really using Gilgamesh as more of a damage dealer, more of as a supporting unit. And I'm gonna show you how in my manual video. As you can see, my Rolandu is in the first spot, Titus in the second spot, and of course, KR and Gilgamesh in the last two spots. Now, one thing I really wanna emphasize is I don't have a lot of these units maximized, but I have certain skills turned off and certain skills turned on. Now for Orlando, I have, here we go, let's just go ahead and click on it. I have a plus five Coral Sword, fully maxed. I have a plus five Sage Hat, fully maxed. I have Titus Shoes, which he doesn't really use the warming up because he doesn't get a chance to. But as you can see, it's a pretty nice stats on that one. And then I'm actually using Twin headed dragon or two headed dragon because it gives him really good attack power here and I'm not very great agi but I don't really need Orlando to do as many hits which I will show you obviously I could definitely fix my bravery and I probably do that later on today and I have my steel plate of destruction AI for the vision card in terms of sub job I'm using samurai I'm using thunder god for extra attack power and lowers attack resistance, which is fine because he usually doesn't take a lot of hits. And I also use Blazel, which will increase attack evasion rate and lowers defense. Auto refresh, if he does get hit, he will gain extra AP, so it allows him to use his skills more. I do have warming up. Unleash is the two-headed dragon, which I actually turn off because it doesn't really do much. And ideally, I don't want him to use this because I want the other units to be engaging with their espers. And Thunder God said, I only have a level 5, surprisingly. Everything else is max in terms of weapon proficiency. Let's go ahead and look at Titus real quick. These are his stats. Of course, he is fully maximized. And of course, the weapon, I'm using a fully maximized Brotherhood. I'm using a plus 5 Smart Code. In case he takes a couple of hits, he does have some magic resistance against Diablos. I'm actually using Sacred Step because I want to get him to be really, really fast speed. But I don't want to give him the bell because I don't really need him to, to go super fast because he already is super fast and he usually goes first in the battle anyways. I wanted some crit evade and spirit because I wanted to defend against the magic attack of Diablos. Purify, I don't really need him to use it. I believe I have that turned off if I'm not mistaken. It is turned off because I don't need him to use that. I do want him to use this if possible because it does non-elemental damage because I don't think I can find anything that's light elemental damage. But nevertheless, maybe the dragon. Either way, because the fact that Titus is within close range during auto, he needs to use this to actually deal damage to the two-headed, or Diablo, excuse me, to actually finish him off. Suncrest got a score. Essentially, I'm using all the maximum attack sub jobs. I'm using Odin because I do want him to go first. And of course, I'm using extra speed and make sure that all my units are fast. And of course, his at 102 agility. Now, KOR Stern. I'm using the Knight of Ruin because I want him to do certain attacks, which is mostly double attack because I need him to chain a little bit. But realistically speaking, you don't really need to chain a whole lot. The only time you really need to chain a whole lot is if you don't have a lot of, say, extra damage because there's a cap in damage in this game. So essentially, once you reach that cap, 
any chaining is kind of irrelevant because you're not going to go over that cap. And that's something really important to bear in mind, right? You don't need to stack up a whole lot of attack power because generally speaking, once you get to the point where it starts to have minimal chains, it's going to do enough damage to make sure the raid is easily. Blaze Soul, Desperation, of course, all attack power stuff. Murderous Glare, he doesn't really have any counter attack moves, unfortunately, so this is the best thing we can do is if he does take damage and it triggers, it will give him extra slash attack power. Revitalize, of course, this is the key element of accessories. I want him to be using that in the beginning. Rampage, I believe I have turned on because it does deal large damage. And usually speaking, he doesn't do this because he doesn't prioritize this as opposed to the others. But for the sake of this auto battle, I'm just going to turn it off because this is a strike damage and I don't need that. Destruction Fang, this is his limit break where he does gain life back. Unfortunately, the AI prioritizes this more so than his other attacks. But in terms of my auto battle, I don't really care too much about it. But in terms of manual battle, Destructive Fang comes in quite handy. I'm using a level 3 Esper of the uh, Behemoth, and it's really, really good. I unfortunately can't max it because I don't have enough of those. Magic sites. I am using a newly acquired vision card. Unfortunately, I doesn't have a max. Easily I could, but right now I don't really need him to because he does maximum damage as I was talking about earlier. And uh, it's already pretty solid for him. So that's that. Of course, the rest is Gilgamesh. And Gilgamesh essentially is the key to this fight because he casts one of his crucial skills, the Kotetsu, which will decrease slash resistance on enemies. And you're going to see later on in this video that it's a very key element. Of course, my only thing really is that my dragon is not actually maximized, but it does increase 1,751 on their maximum attack. So that's kind of nice to increase their cap. So as you can see, I do have the only thing that I need to fe feature is the Bale Gauntlet, which is maximized for aim. And of course I have the Ice Sword and Agrias's armor. Speed Cast and Clairvoyant Blade. And honestly, none of this stuff plays into a role here. He doesn't really do a whole lot. All he does is, what I need him to do is, of course, cast Quicken. And you're gonna see that in my manual aspect of it. Smelly Breath, I definitely need to turn that off and that is off because it's useless here. And Flash, he doesn't really need to really do this because it's very useless for him as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off just for the sake of it. And then I don't really need him to be using this either because he doesn't really use it because that's essentially useless. So I go ahead and turn it off as well because they can all survive hits. So essentially, thus in a nutshell, I know they're all limited time units and two premium units. I can think of another team that will probably get the job done because KR Stern is the bulk of the damage alongside with, of course, Titus. I think if you get Titus to level 120, maybe you can substitute one of the units here. I think here you can probably use, it, use another unit that can give you Quicken if you're doing it manually, but in terms of auto, I think you can just replace it with a much higher damage dealer because I don't really use Gilgamesh as a damage dealer. And I think personally, this is the position that I'm setting my team in. So let's go ahead and check it out on auto.
Okay, so the auto was actually pretty smooth that run. I think my success rate is about 80 to 90%. Once in a blue moon, I do fail. So essentially, I do have to spin an orb. I usually, if I have time watching TV or I'm sitting around the house and I have free time, I do like to manually since it's easier. But if I have full five orbs, I will go ahead and auto as much as I can because I don't really need to hoard the orbs. If I can conquer each raid without using an orb, essentially the orb just goes to waste if it sits there and constantly does nothing. So ideally, you want to take advantage of it by letting the orb regen because you really want to auto as much as you can. Now let's go ahead and take a look at my actual manually. So that was, as you can see, very smooth run. I still had three steps left over after the battle. The key thing I showed was that the Kotetsu decreases slash resistance all the way down to negative 53%. I don't know if it really plays a humongous role, but it does play a role once the chain actually ends because I need my units to do as much damage as possible to finish him off. So in a nutshell, I really enjoy my team. I really enjoy the effort that I put in over the last... I guess year really to get to this point and i'm very proud of my progress to be honest even though technically speaking i probably could have done this progress months ago in different raids but you guys know me by now i'm pretty laid back and not really type of a min max type of guy so all right that's all the time for this video i want to thank you all for watching i want to thank you for spending your most valuable resource with me your time and as always take care of yourself and all your loved ones hopefully see you at tonight's stream and if not have a great weekend folks Take care.